it just started with a simple stomach pain. After all the tests, the doctor came to me and told me one thing that you don't want to hear. It's a rare soft tissue cancer. She needed 11 months of chemotherapy and 28 days of radiation therapy. She was just eight years old. During that time, I feel so helpless. Seeing your daughter in pain, yeah, that's so hard. If you can only take away the pain. But you know what? My daughter, Danielle, is a very resilient and strong girl. Early this year, Danielle was diagnosed with another kind of cancer. She's 12 years old and battling cancer once again. Because of this coronavirus, we have to make this very difficult decision. My husband, who is a nurse, decided to self-isolate in order to protect Danielle. We'll just, you know, call him, video chat with him. We're not together as a family this time. I don't know how I will survive this thing without their care. The care coordinator will give us a call in like every week asking if we need anything, groceries, gas cards, gift cards, and even gifts. Every time I will open those bags, those packages, all the things that I need, it's there already. You know that in every package, there comes love and care. These wonderful people will also risk their health in order to help other people. Their care is there not to just deliver groceries. They're there to make you feel, oh, we're with you in this journey. We're holding your hand. We can do this all together. This global pandemic has shifted life, I think, for all of us um, and definitely for our families. Air with Care has found ways to continue to do deliveries in a way that's safe for both Air with Care and for our families. That constant is very important. I'm outside the Lucil Packard Children's Hospital and we are waiting for the families to come and get their deliveries. They are six feet apart for the safety of everyone. You know, I'm a sole provider in my home, so there's me, my wife, and, and six kids. COVID hits, I get snatched out of there, so now she's trying to handle the rest of the kids. We're over here, and uh, yeah, man, it was it was uh, it was pretty scary. But when we got the call that he had been in a dirt bike accident, I packed the bag. I didn't know how long it was gonna be. I didn't know how serious it was. I, we didn't see our family for like three months. There with Care uh, is such an amazing organization. Every other week, they bring me a package, and every other week they would call and ask me uh, if there was anything specifically that we needed. And there was a time where we needed socks, and there was a time where we needed hygiene products. You can really feel that they really care. They sent us everything that we needed. It helped us to minimize the amount of, of uh, trips to the store that we had to make. And, you know, it took some stress off and I could focus more on taking care of my son. We will always be grateful for all the help that you've done and for everything that you do for every family that comes through here. There with care, you know, makes life a little easier for our families and we are so appreciative that There with Care has continued to be involved even during this difficult time with COVID, that they continue to uh, be able to provide uh, those essential resources to our families. It's just really nice for the families not to have to worry about basic needs such as going and getting food. And we're just very grateful that um, they're, they're here for our families. In May of 2019, we discovered our daughter, Rocklin, now six years old, was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy. So Rocky's um, on the transplant list for both her little heart and her little kidneys. And we've got her going over there at UCSF um, on a Berlin heart. 
and dialysis and just getting stronger every day. In total, we've been in, in and out of the UCSF the last year um, for about seven months. Well, with COVID, it makes it scary to go into a grocery store or to just go get the little basic things that you need to have the support with there with cares like having a family member not too far off. To be able to, at the beginning of your day before you go to the hospital, put into the crock pot some of the fresh vegetables that are sent from there with care. Have that simmer through the crock pot all day when you're at the hospital knowing that it was handled properly and with care before the food got here. And I didn't have to go to the grocery store. That's a huge blessing for a family with a sick little kid. Besides the food and the toiletries, There With Care does send things for the kids, toys and games. They send little notes, thinking of you and hope that you're doing well and you're not alone. And I love it and I keep it here above. Because it reminds me, I can just click my fingers and there's my love. It's important because I know that there's someone there on the other end of the line that cares about how my family's doing. They care about what we may need and they have the ability, because of the volunteers and everyone who donates, they have the ability to get those things to us that we need. I really appreciate all of the work that the coordinators do and just the community support that this organization provides all of our families. It's, um, there's no way you can put a, a value to that. They would care. Uh, really there, they are my, my strength. And I'm just, my heart is just full of gratitude. It was such a blessing, it was such, it was so, uh, I just was, my, I was blown away. Thank you, because at the end of the day, you make our days a lot better. And we're grateful 